Hey everybody, one of the earliest nebulas that I tried to image was the Crescent Nebula. The Crescent Nebula sits in the constellation Cygnus, or the Swan Nebula, which is also the asterism known as the Northern Cross. The Crescent Nebula itself sits partway in between Saturn within the constellation Cygnus and Cygnii or Cygni Eta which is a star to the south and west, reversing directions here, uh, of Saturn. You can find the Crescent Nebula by identifying these four stars that form a parallelogram about halfway between the star Saturn and the star Cygni Eta. Unfortunately, in my first attempt at imaging the Crescent Nebula, those four stars were pretty much all I could make out with my DSLR. So I found this to be a challenging target. The nebula itself was fairly dim when viewed at uh, 1000 millimeters focal length. And with the DSLR, even shooting under darker skies, the nebulosity was really hard to bring out. Now, a year later, I revisited the target with a a dedicated astrophotography camera. Uh, now using a cooled camera from again a darker sky location while camping I was able to resolve a little bit more detail from the nebula in an image that I was very happy with at the time. In fact I posted a video about it a year ago. One year later, I revisited the Crescent again. And I'd like to talk a little bit about the things that I've learned over the past year uh, that I think have let me get even more out of this image. This time I was imaging from my backyard, which is a Bortle 8 location, especially in the direction of Cygnus when I was imaging it. However, unlike last year, when I was still getting used to using the cooled astrophotography camera, this year not only did I know how to use the camera better, but I was now using filters. I used two filters and a technique I learned over the past year of combining data from those two filters. Uh, the first filter was a Svibani 220 dual band filter, which is a hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3 filter. And the second filter was a UV IR cut filter, which limits a little bit of the uh, UV and infrared light, uh, which otherwise bloats stars. So I shot the stars with a UV IR cut filter, and I combined those stars with the nebula shot with a dual band filter. Uh, as far as the technique for combining those two images, I have just posted a video on aligning images shot with different filters if you'd like to check that out. Now the other thing that I think made a big difference for me over the past year uh, is tweaking my approach of using my UPPD mat or my Urban Paper Protector Diffuser Mask Astrophotography Tool which is basically just a uh, plastic diffuser that I use to image flats at the same time as I take my images. So these are long exposure flats that capture the quality of the sky as well as any light pollution diffraction happening within the telescope itself. And by using those types of flats I can uh, basically subtract them from the images that I'm taking. And that seems to be working out very well at removing things like rings that would otherwise appear in my images. The other thing I did this year is I joined some of the members of my astronomy club at a dark sky camping weekend. So we headed out to a conservation area called Bacchus in southwestern Ontario and there I was using my little Frankenstein um, wide field setup where I was imaging using a 300 millimeter lens uh, and the cooled camera. So I now have a wider angle view of the Crescent Nebula shot with a 300 f uh, Nikkor lens, uh, also using the same approach of a dual band filter for the nebula and the UV IR cut filter for the stars. 
the two nights I was imaging from Bacchus were uh, quite humid, as you can tell from this time lapse. But I was also using uh, a lens heater that was powered by my battery, which drained the battery fairly quickly, meaning I only got about uh, three hours worth of data on the nebula itself. Just the same, I'm very happy with how both the wide field and the 1000 millimeter shot with the Nexstar 6SE turned out. And so here are the images of the Crescent Nebula taken with a Celestron Nexstar 6SE telescope with a focal reducer running on a wedge with a ASI 294MC Pro camera, a dual band filter, and the UV IR cut filter. And also a wide angle of the Crescent Nebula shot with that Nikkor 300F fixed focal length lens. Thank you for watching and clear skies.